Hey guys, Ash here at Flight Sim Reviews again, and we are at Denver International, set up to fly to Salt Lake City, and we're going to pick up where we left off on the last review. Alrighty, we're in the cockpit, the flight plan is loaded, uh, it's asking us to confirm our V-speed, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And what you'll notice is once we've entered the data into the FMC, it's going to tell us that we need a stab trim of 6.0. So, since the engines aren't up and running yet, we're going to use the auxiliary pump, which you can turn on there or on the overhead panel. And we're going to go ahead and retrim the aircraft to 6.0. That's where the uh, flight management system would like it to be trimmed for takeoff. So, there's 6.0. So, that's set. So, we're set for takeoff trim. So, I want to show you another feature about the uh, MD-11 one of my favorite aircraft of all time. Uh, it has something called dial flap and once we dial the flaps down into this range right here you can set your exact flap extension range that you would like to use so it's not always preset. You can set it for the runway etc or other parameters so default is 15 so we're going to go ahead and uh, lower the flaps down to 15 degrees and we're in the dial flap range and you can see it reads 15 so the flaps now should be traveling down to 15 degrees they are uh, once the engines are started so uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, go ahead and go back to our flight plan and I want to add one more waypoint we're going to clear out that discontinuity we're going to add Echo Kilo Romeo which is a VOR on the way to Salt Lake City and we're going to go ahead and clear this discontinuity out of there and add a star. So we're going to add B E A R R 4 to ILS 1 6 left. And we're just going to go ahead and hit insert. And that will actually automatically insert that right into our flight plan. Alrighty, there we go. There's going to be some discontinuities. Okay, so there's our flight plan. On this side, you can see the speed we can expect to be holding. And on this side, we can expect to uh, these altitudes at these waypoints. Uh, again, I'm just going to take off as if it was a maximum climb takeoff from the IA without all the restrictions. So uh, that way it'll be quicker to show you guys. Normally, you would hold 250 knots under 10,000 feet. I've dialed in. I wanted the first step climb cruise altitude of 350. So I'm going to put that on the autopilot. And you can check that by going to the performance tab here and you can see optimal altitude right now is 350 and max flight level is 375 or 37,500 feet so let's go ahead and uh, start the engines here we're going to go ahead and connect external air so we go menu into the PMDG's uh, shortcuts we're going to go ahead and uh, connect external air and you can hear in the aircraft the actual air packs coming on, believe it or not. So that's all modeled. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start engine one. So we're going to pull the uh, engine start valve. And we're going to watch for N1 to come up and watch the N2 pressure for fuel. I actually pulled the wrong button there for you guys. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to arm my engine ignition. There we go. Yeah, A or B is which engine ignition you're using. So there we go. That's showing that we have start air to the fuel or to the engine, and we wait for it to hit this blue line, and then we're going to go ahead and add fuel. Now's a good time to set the parking brake. Fuel on. You're going to see the exhaust gas temperature rise here as the turbine becomes alive. And we're just going to go ahead, we can watch this chart as well, to watch the uh, temperature of the turbine. There's a minimum temperature before you throttle it up or down, etc. And again, we are showing a uh, door open, so we're going to go ahead and just close that door. So we're going to go close there. Left it open so I could show you guys. You just hit close, and if you look outside, you can see the forward door closing and sealing there. 
so we're going to come back into the virtual cockpit and arm all the doors. And again, it says all doors armed, so go back into the flight plan. It looks like engine one is now stabilized, so we're going to start with number two. You'll see the light come on once the air is open to the inlet valve. And again, we're going to go fuel on. And again, you're going to see the uh, fuel flow rise. These are this is uh, pounds per hour. And we're going to go ahead and watch uh, the uh, N2 for any type of hot start situation. I don't believe there will be since this was a cold and dark start. So. And you'll hear the air start switch come off, and the engine will now stabilize. So we're going to go ahead and start the number two engine, or the tail engine. And at 15% in two, we're going to go ahead and introduce fuel. Why this is saying break on this screen is these are the uh, parameters for takeoff that are needing to be met before we roll for takeoff. So it's essentially telling me I haven't set my auto break yet for takeoff, but we will get to that once we push back and taxi out to the active. So, with the engine started, we're going to go ahead and push back. First by uh, disconnecting the external air. Okay, we're going to return to shortcuts. Push back, and I'm going to show you what that's like. So, we'll go back 60 meters. Turn right, and with a turn of 45 degrees to the right, and we're going to go ahead and start the pushback. Let you hear it. We're all set to go up here. We've been cleared to push in. Start at your discretion. Mm -hmm. Right now, ready for push. Power and air. Doors closed. We are ready for push back. Please mark the right place. Okay, park the brake is off. Clear to push. So as you. So they cleared to push. Confirmed all ground power, etc., was off the aircraft. Uh, PMDG uh, unfortunately didn't model a uh, pushback cart, so that's kind of a downer, but this is an incredible simulation. PMDG's simulations are fantastic, so that's really nothing to complain about. As you can see, uh, the MD-11 is being pushed back here. And once we reach the uh, assigned meters of pushback, it will go ahead and turn my nose to the right. And there you go. Go ahead and turn on the taxi light. Go ahead and turn on the uh, luminescence. So at this point, uh, the ground crew is clear, and we can become we can go ahead and begin our taxi here. And since taxiing is so exciting, I thought we would go ahead and uh, uh, resume once I get out to the active and the uh, hold short line. One thing about while you're taxiing this aircraft that is a little strange is the nose wheel is quite a 
long ways behind the nose, kind of like the Concorde. So you kind of feel when you're on the flight deck like you're out in the weeds, but actually you're uh, just right on center line. So you'll always want to overshoot your taxiways that you're trying to make it on. So I will catch you on the active.